everyone, it's Day Big Danica, and today I'm going to show you how to insert a Dexcom G6 sensor. If you missed my video of me inserting a Dexcom G6 for the very first time, I will have the link to that video in the description, and this is going to be more of a tutorial on how to do it. So first you just want to clean the site with alcohol. And let that dry. Now I have to enter the sensor serial number into my app or receiver. And it's just written on the very bottom of the adhesive backing. And so I can either take a picture of it or enter it in. Then just to remove the adhesive backing. There's two easy pull tabs there. Now I'm just gonna stick the adhesive to where I wanna insert it. And I'm gonna break off the safety latch just by folding it over like that. So now it's all stuck down and I'm ready to insert it. And the way you insert it is just an easy one button push. One, two, three. There we go. Boom, it's in. I love how easy it is to pull off the inserter once it's in. Now I'm gonna take my transmitter out. And I'm just gonna clean the back with alcohol. Next, I'm gonna insert the tab of the transmitter into the sensor and snap it into place. Then just circle around the adhesive three times and you're good to go. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's definitely so much smaller under my shirt. And I'm just gonna start the sensor on my phone and I'm ready to use G6. So that was definitely a way easier insertion than the G5 sensor. If you've used the G5, you know that it's kind of complicated, a little bit cumbersome. So the one button push is definitely an upgrade. I also just really love how the transmitter feels now. Like I was saying, it's super thin and just smooth and more flush with the skin than it used to be. And even the kind of casing around it that holds the transmitter in is just way more smooth and less pokey. So I am super excited to start using the Dexcom G6 now. Thank you Dexcom for sending me some of the early first rounds of the Dexcom G6. It's due to be shipped out to the general public in June of 2018, so definitely look into it if you use the Dexcom or have been thinking about it. I definitely love using the Dexcom. I think it gives you a lot of great information about what your blood sugar is doing, including alarming for too high or low, and I'm really excited about the new system um, with all the upgrades like 10 day wear, no calibrations, and not being affected by Tylenol. So. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I make new videos about diabetes very frequently and I'll see you next time. Bye.